Hi everyone, it's me Amanda and I'm back again with another subscription box Saturday! Yay! And today we are unboxing my October Magic at Your Door box. Yeah! So just so everyone is clear, you don't want to see that, you don't want to see this. Um, I did get this box on Twenty ninth. Twenty. I know what day of the week it is. So I got this the 29th of October. This will be going up the first Saturday of November because I already have a subscription box Saturday. It's going up on Halloween. So this will go up the first weekend of November. But I did actually get this box in October. So just wanted to let you guys know they're really good about shipping. Um, their boxes out and making sure that people get them. Um, I think it says that it'll ship up by the last day of the month, but so far both times that I've gotten this box, um, I have gotten it before the last day of the month, which is really nice and exciting. So I will go ahead and link up above and down below my first unboxing of this box, my September one. I absolutely loved it. I was so excited. Uh, it was really good. I've actually um, paused my November box for Magic at Your Door, and I think I instead I'm like trying to like figure out finances and stuff because the reason I paused it is because they have a one-time Christmas box that's kind of expensive, like it's more than I would ever just drop on a box. So I am trying to figure out if I can um, get the Christmas box instead of like the November box. I definitely wouldn't want it like not that I wouldn't want it but I wouldn't want to get a December box and a November box like that would just be like a lot of Disney like I get a, a lot of other Disney stuff too so just trying to keep like my subscriptions in check so I'm not like getting like a massive quantity of stuff because I'm trying like like I said I, I like to stay organized and I like to like I like to display things, but I don't want it to get cluttered, so I try and make sure that the stuff that I'm bringing in has a place and a home, so I don't want to bring too much stuff in at one time, if that makes sense. Okay, enough talking. I will go ahead and link below the company Magic at Your Door so you can see all the information. This is the gold box, and um, I do have to say it was super simple to go in and um, pause, like skip a renewal. So like some companies it's really hard to do, like not subscription box companies necessarily, but like you know how some companies like you sign up for something, it's hard to cancel or skip something, but it was very easy with them. And um, they have a wish, wish list. So this box is fully customizable. So I will link all their information down in the description below. I believe that their box dude, because normally there is a box dude, is normally named Dude, but he is invisible. He's a ghost this month, so very exciting. And this is on both sides. And then it says, ooh, something to slip in there. Magic at your door. Amanda, let the magic begin. So what do you guys say? Do you want to let the magic be in? I think we should. Actually, remember my razor blade. I might be getting good at this, guys. I might be good at remembering things now. Maybe not. Who knows? So yeah. Ooh, good. Okay, I always panic that I'm like gonna accidentally like not cut myself because I've never done that, but like. I'm always panicked that I'm going to hurt things at the top, but this is kind of double boxed, so. Oh my gosh, this thing is like stuffed, guys, which I love because that means there's tons of stuff in here. Alright, one second, guys. opened up the box and this is what was waiting for me. Alrighty. Oh. 
I do love like the theming of the confettis. There is white, orange, black, silver. There's all sorts of fun things in here. All right. So here is my little letter that I get. Um, let's see. Yep, so there is, it's talking about their um, November, December, Christmas update. Um, it also talks about uh, how they sell products on their website. So, um, like I said, link below. And it has their Christmas box information. And it has their little price guide because it's it's not them. It's not them. It's, it's Disney. Disney does the color system. I hate it. It drives me nuts. Um... Okay, I might have to go real fast to get a bag because I've recently started selling some stuff on eBay and I love using, reusing some of these things for when I am packaging like pin mill and stuff. So when you're getting a bag, I'll be right back. All right. You know what? I decided I'm not going to get a bag because I'm so excited about what's in this box that I just decided that we're going to, I'm going to boof it to the sides. Alright, and that way it'll be more of a mystery for me about what I'm getting. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, this box is fully customized, and this is a Disney patch. It is the Sugar Skull from Coco. I actually already have this, but it's okay because there's no way for me to tell them. I just got this in my last Bibbidi box that was um, Pixar themed. but. This is spot on because I do love Coco and I did put that I love patches. So I will either, um, I might keep them so I have both because like that'd be cool. Or I might, um, find someone to give this to. So, um, I definitely love this though. I love this item the first time I opened it and it's so pretty and so cool. So I'll probably end up keeping both because... Like, that's how much I love Coco. Like, that's why I have the Coco ears. And, oh, also, I'm wearing a Halloween shirt, guys. This is my only Halloween shirt, so you'll probably see it again as I unbox, like, other October stuff. But this is from my favorite Halloween movie. Disney, of course, being normal is vastly overrated. It is from none other than Halloween Town. And I actually got this from an Etsy shop. I'll try and link it down below if I remember. Um, the girl that played Marnie, the, the main girl character, actually has this Etsy, Etsy shop and she makes the shirts. So I think it's just really cool. Alright. Parting the fluffies. I see a red box. Which means uh, Jim Shore. So we'll save that for last. emerges from the competitors. What is this? Is this like I'm stupid. This is amazing. I thought it was maybe going to be like a mini pillowcase, but it's a placemat and it's cloth and it says be our guest. It's Beauty and the Beast themed. And it has, let's see. Okay, so it says, and now we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. And then it was with, oh, maybe that's, okay. Okay, so it says it multiple times all around, so that's cool. But it has this little design, I love it. And it says, be our guest. And then on the other side it has, yeah. As I drop them the pistol. 
This is amazing. I actually really love this. I didn't know this existed. And you can bet that it's going to be used. Like, 100%. Because it's, I just said, amazing. It is a placement. I love this. Okay. Sorry, guys. And there's more than one. Oh, perfect. Okay. So these say placemat. Okay. This plastic said what it was. Placemat, be our guest, $9.99. So I don't know if each one's $9.99. $9.99. I can talk, I swear, guys. But if they are, that's totally cool because these are so cute and I would 100% buy this. But I didn't know it existed. Oh my gosh. That is so great. Like, oh my gosh. I love it. Like, so, so, so much. An item that says Winnie the Pooh. Is this a book? It says Winnie the Pooh, all a flutter with wonder. As I almost drop it. Oh, and it has Pooh and Piglet on the back. Oh, and I guess I had Pooh and Piglet on the front too. Let's see. It. Guys, it's a notebook. And the pages have your. Can you see that? Okay, so the front cover has like the Hundred Acre Woods. I'm assuming that's what the back cover has as well. And then there's actually a ribbon in the middle so you can actually mark your spot. Oh, and look, it looks like a book cover. I love this. Oh, okay, cool. And the other side of the page I showed the other side because that's where my brain goes to automatically. But look, it also has Tigger. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like literally so beautiful. And I've never seen it. I love notebooks. And this is $14.99. And once again, this is another item I 1 million percent want to purchase. But, like, I don't know. I didn't know it existed. How do they find things that I don't know existed? Like, I feel like I know a lot of things. And it's kind of like raised up, like the characters are kind of raised up. Okay, sorry. I'll stop obsessing over my way of the poo. Found another item. I had this on my wish list. So this is a little pouch thing. Let me see if I can get it open. There we go. Okay, and then the stuff inside. I'm gonna try and save that too. So there's nothing on the inside, but this is $19.99 and it's well worth it. So this is like a little like pouch, like you could put like toiletries or different stuff in here. But it says World Traveler and it has like little goodbyes and it says goodbye and different things. Ciao, au revoir. And this, and it has like the little handles up there. And this is from It's a Small World, which is one of my absolute favorite rides. So I have this, um, they have a wish list of different items that you can go ahead and heart and they get an idea of like stuff that you'd like that they might have in stock. So I had this on my wish list and I'm so glad that it was in my box. Uh, the wish list isn't like a guarantee or anything, but like I said, I'm so glad it's in there. Okay. I found my magical gold pouch. I think there's supposed to be a name. I'll, I'll put it down below, like what you're supposed to call it. Like, incredible, the one and only, something or others. I can't remember. I don't 
I, I can't remember the thing. But I'll save this for the end. I'll go ahead and put this to the side. Because I think that has, like, my pin in it. Maybe I'll open it now. I actually kind of like opening it this way a little bit more. Like, the video is a little bit longer, so I apologize, but... Actually, we're not doing that on time. Oh, wait. This is my second lens move. Dang it. Trying not to freak out because I think I know what these are because I had them on my wish list. I really hope that it, it's what I think they are. They say lounge fly, Disney lounge fly. And I'm okay. I wanted these ears so bad because they are so stinking cute, and now I have another pair of Halloween ears. So here's the front. Here's the back. You can kind of see the pattern a little bit better. Oh my gosh. Alright. Change of ears. I love them. Oh my gosh. And they're actually like really comfortable like sometimes the Disney ones like are not comfortable like when I wear them for super long these ones are actually like not bad okay so I've mentioned that I'm not like the biggest fan of Halloween but I actually really really love this design because it has like Mickey and Minnie together and like there there's like moons and there's like it's like, a darker color and it's not like a orange like there was orange on the inside but that's okay but it's not like excessive orange but I love that they were dressed up like as a witch Minnie's a witch I just think that, that is the cutest thing and so I really 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 wanted these ears and I'm so glad that I got them I might get another pair because I, I like I wanted them so bad that I put them on multiple boxes wish list like but I don't even care. I love them. Like, they made a backpack of this pattern too. Sorry about that, guys. I got cut off and I had to delete some stuff off of my memory card. <clears throat> oh my hand. But yeah, so we're back. So, as I was saying, they had a backpack that matched these ears, and I was tempted by the backpack, but. I don't know, like, I'm trying to keep a handle on, like, how many backpacks I have and bags in my life, so, um, kind of like with, like, the, uh, some of the other items, like, I try and find compromises that I don't have enough, like, don't, that are smaller, don't take up as much space, and, like I said, I wouldn't use that backpack year-round, like, you can only, like, use it during Halloween, so, compromise, and these are so comfortable, guys, like, I'm gonna show you guys the inside's orange, but yeah, I know. But isn't that the cutest pattern you've ever seen in your life? Ugh, I love it. I'm so glad I got these ears. Like, ugh. It's so hard to put ears on with tags on. Okay, guys. a cutting device away from me safety first guys safety first sorry maybe now I won't be struggle blessing I love them I love them so much all right go back or gym short go back or gym short Oh, perfect time! It has all sorts of fun things.
Okay, we're saving that one for a second. And first up, as I mentioned, the video is tied below and it was tied up above before for last month. But they do a fantasy pin every month that you automatically get when you have the gold box. And uh, due to shipping, which we all know shipping is a mess, but it wasn't didn't get there in time for their shipping for last month. So it's here that September and last month would be in the booth thing. So look at that, guys. So September 2020, the pin is so beautiful. Once again, it's like a fancy pin that they make themselves, so it's not tradable in the parks. Not that I'd ever trade this because uh, this is going on my eating the beast pin board right when we're done with this video and it will never leave that's how much I love that pin and then this pin the October one got there in time so this is October and it's so cute it is a ghost Mickey with a castle and it says October 2020 and here's the back I do love that these are two pin backers because then they won't like all around and guys I think that these glow in the dark it does I don't know how I would show you but you're just gonna have to trust me maybe I'll get a picture of it I'll try and get a picture and insert it if I don't sorry I didn't have him But that's also going on my boards and it will never come off because I absolutely think that they're so beautiful and I, I like, I'm not like artistic like that so I think it's so cool that there are people that are out there that can make fantasy pins. Like I love fantasy pins because I love seeing people's creativity. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to check all the fuzzles in the white paper because um, it says like in the notes and stuff like you have to check everything really thoroughly because they hide things in every nook and cranny and so I am going you might hear some noise so just a warning but all right guys I think we have everything out I'm gonna pull this up and not look at the sides A Jim Shore Disney Traditions Look at why it says they have a spoiler on the side and I don't want to know what it is. This is only my second one that I've ever gotten. And I'm so excited to see what it might be. There's so many beautiful ones that you never know. Just so everyone knows, I saved the boxes because you know, you never know. You might need them someday. Should I open it so you guys can see first? If I can, I will. I think I know which one this is and I, I really hope it's the one I hope I don't put myself down I 
I could feel the book when I took it out when I was like when I was scratching the plastic I could feel the book I don't have words this is on my wish list I kind of never thought that it would happen I'm so happy it did it's so beautiful it says once upon a time as Bell Beast, Mimi Air's up there, Cogsworth is up there, it's the staircase, it's like it, it looks like it's a book. In the back, you can see the pages, and it says Beauty and the Beast. I'm so in love with this, you guys. Hmm. It is calm. Oh boy, I'm blind, guys. Is that love in this? Love indoors? I can't say the box. <laughs> love indoors. I can't read black on blue. It's so hard. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can get close up. I love the expressions, like look at her little blush, and oh, we are so happy, the beast is happy, oh my gosh, Cogsworth is smiling, do y'all see that, Cogsworth is smiling, and there's this little bee in her dress, oh my god, I love this so much. I can't wait to do this video. I'm trying to think of like where I'm gonna put it. Like that's why I'm in silent. Like I'm trying to think of like where the most beautiful place in my house is because this needs to go in the most beautiful place with some books. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, there was a little tag that came on it. I don't know if people care about that, but I'll put it back on for right now. Oh my gosh, there's, oh my gosh, the details, like the staircase, did I show that? Like, oh my gosh. I love this so much. Ugh, I don't even know what to say. Magic at your door, this was such a good box, like, it's such a good box. I love it so much. Like it has all my favorites. It had like all my favorites and like things that I like really, really wanted. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. All right, so just to recap, I'll recap real fast. So we got this amazing Jim Shore. All right, so we got this beautiful and amazing Jim Shore. Don't tell the others, but this is my favorite item from the box. I got this little, it's a small roll, which is like also another favorite little pouch. This is also my wish list, just like the last item. These beauties, these lounge fly um, Halloween ears with the velvet bow and Mickey and Minnie flying into the night for Halloween. These were on my beautiful wish list. Like, so good. And then I got this, like, absolutely stunning Winnie the Pooh notebook. It looks like a real book. I, I literally love this so much. Like, I keep looking at it. Like, when I'm looking off camera, like, I'm just looking at the items that I put away because they're so pretty. And then I got my two be our guest items my placemat there's a second one I'm not gonna open that one for right now and I got my September pin which is the beast the October pin which is glow in the dark and love it and then last but not least I got my cocoa patch I think they like legitimately got every single one of my favorites 
Beauty and the Beast is my absolute favorite. Coco is my absolute favorite. Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh is my absolute favorite. Like, Small World is tied is one of my favorite rides. And then I had these ears on my wish list because I really wanted them. Yeah, it was so good, you guys. go in and redo my November box. It might be a thing. Decisions, decisions. I'll keep you guys updated. But this was such a good box. And it had so many of my preferences. Like it has every single one of my preferences on there. And I like specifically put like in my preferences, like there's a spot, a spot where you can put like, you know, preferences and unpreferences, like things that you don't like. And like I specifically put in my, both my preferences and my like, don't put include that I was not the biggest fan of Halloween and that really the only Halloween type items that I'd really want in my box would be the items that I put on my wish list, which are these beauties. So they 100% listen to that, and I absolutely love that. Um, yeah, no, like, and this is like, I guess you could say it's Halloween, -y, but it's because I love Coco, so it's totally fine. And that's a thousand percent going somewhere. Maybe right here, because I have Belle. Like, I can take the Twilight away. That was like a phase, but. Coco Patch might be going there too because I seriously love Coco so much. I watched it again the other day. I don't even remember how many times I've watched it. Because it might make me feel like I shouldn't watch anymore. And I'm 100,000% gonna keep watching it. But yeah. So, wow. Magic at your door, there's not a single item that I don't like or I won't be using. Uh, you guys killed it. Thank you so much. I love him. I love it all so much. I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy, guys. And, yeah. Alright. I'm just gonna sit here and stare at my items some more because, uh, apparently that's all I can do. But, if you guys made it this far, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I have a bunch of different content, um, unboxings, um, baggings, uh, mystery items, uh, reviews, planning, all sorts of things. And as the holidays come around, I will be doing more planning type videos and organizing because it's holiday time and I love this time of year. Alright guys, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.